So to create the front post double crochet, we're going to need to work a foundation chain in even stitches plus two. So I have made 22 stitches and for my first row, I'm going to be working in the third chain from the hook. So we don't count the chain on our hook, one, two and three. And I'm just going to work one row of double crochets into each stitch along. So in this tutorial, I am using US crochet terms. If you are in the UK, this is known as a treble crochet. So one, two, three, yarn over and insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull back through the remaining two loops. And we're gonna do that in each stitch, each chain, sorry, along. Oh, my yarn's getting in the way, creeping in. And we're just going to create that, those double crochets all the way to the end. So I will meet you there once you have one whole row of double crochet in each stitch along. Once we've reached the end of our row, we are going to chain two and turn our work. It's all getting caught up. So one and two and then turn our work. Now we're going to be creating, sorry, front row front post, <laughs> we'll get it right, double crochets. Now if we look at our double crochets from the previous row, we're going to be looking at the stitches themselves instead of working into the top of our row like we normally would. And we're going to work around the, the post of the stitch, so around the actual stitch itself. So we're going to yarn over like we would to begin a double crochet. And then we're going to insert our hook behind that post. So we're not counting the first one here, we're going straight, we're going behind the second one here. So insert your hook behind that post after you've yarned over. <laughs> yarn over and pull back through like you would a normal double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's created our first um, front post double crochet. Now we're going to do the same again. So yarn over and working around the next stitch. For this tutorial, I've used a DK weight yarn and actually used a five millimeter hook. And that's just so you can see the work and you can see the stitches quite easily. It makes the yarn a bit stretchier. Um, so if you are struggling, use a bigger hook but also um, having a loose attention can help just so you can pull your work apart a bit and see those stitches. So yarn over behind that post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're just gonna continue that all the way along. And I'll meet you back near the end to go over moving on to the next row with you. Don't quite complete the row, leave a couple of stitches um, before the end and that's where I'll meet you back. If you need a refresher of this stitch, then just rewind the video a little bit, um, back to the start of this row and then carry on to the end. I'll see you there. So I am almost at the end of my row and as you can see, it's kind of made this ridge on the back of my work. I have, pull my work apart a bit, two stitches left and my turning chain. So I'm going to go ahead and do two more front post double crochets and then I'm going to show you how to move on to our next row in that turning chain. So into the top of that turning chain you want to just make one double crochet, fit your hook in there, that's it. One double crochet to keep those edges nice and straight. Then you want to chain two and turn your work. And that's when you can see the very defined ridge on the front of your work. And now we're gonna go back in exactly the same way and create another row of front post double crochet. So again, not going around that first post there but using this almost second double crochet of the row 
yarn over around the back of that post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, behind the next one. And we're just going to continue this way all the way to the end, chain two and turn. So remember to do a double crochet into that last stitch. And that's it, it's a stitch repeat all the way to the end. And it will actually alternate it to the sides that that ridge is on. So every other row on both sides of your work, alternating, you will have this ridge. And it makes a really nice pattern, really nice texture for things like uh, ribbing on the edge of um, blankets or cardigans or yeah, garments, things like that. It makes a really nice edging stitch. And that, as you can see, that ridge is now being worked on the back. So do that all the way to the end. I'll meet you back at the end and show you how to move on to your next row one more time. Then I'm going to go away and build my swatch up, make it a little bigger, come back and show it to you so you can see that ribbing. And I will meet you back at the end of this row. So I'm now at the end of my row, I've got my chain two, turning chain there, so I'm going to yarn over and just insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, oh, I've gone straight into there, so through the actual stitch, <laughs> yarn over, pull through, create that double crochet, chain two, and move on to the um, turning your work and working back along. So as you can see, I've made it's made another nice ridge here. This here is actually the bottom of your work, so that's not a ridge on this side, unfortunately. It's just turned up a bit while that ridge is sitting <laughs> on the desk. So I'm going to go away and build my swatch up and I'll meet you back in a bit to show you the bigger picture. So as you can see here, I've built the swatch up a few more rows and you can really see the defined ridge. Um, and then if you turn it over, you can see the ridge on the other side, which will be kind of in alternating positions. So it's a really, really lovely textured stitch. Like I said before, it's great for ribbing, um, for collars, for, um, you know, cuffs, uh, borders of blankets, really, really lovely. So that's the front post double crochet. So if you love this tutorial, then please give me a massive thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell if you'd like to keep up to date with my tutorials and I'll catch you again soon.